Hi there, this is Paul and in this new KineMaker video tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement a circular movement circular movement for a sprite uh, basically sometimes you want to, to, to have one or more sprites uh, in moving in circles and that's why you need a circular movement well let's start first let's create a sprite i already made this little guy let's load it let's name it i want the region in the center of the sprite i'm not going to use precise collision checking and we are done now we are done now let's create an object create object let's name it now i'm going to assign the sprite to the object and we finish okay now is where the fun part begins first i'm going to need a create event for variables initializations let's add some variables first I'm going to need an angle variable and a length variable let's put it I think that the that that'll be enough at this for now now let's add a step event and in this event we are going to implement the circular movement in the x co coordinate we use the cosine or cos of an angle and in the way coordinate we use the sign sin of the angle and now we are going to multiply this by length sorry and we we're done all right now i want the the sprite moving in circles in this the sprite already defined position so that's why i'm going to do this like an increment as shown and i think we are done not really we need a room let's create it and now i'm going to put here the sprite uh, that'll be enough and uh, let's see it oh something went wrong let's see oh yes i forgot something extremely important i need to increment the angle i think this be all right let's see and yeah now it works but i forgot something i always want to run to run the game in full screen mode as you can see the circular movement works uh, very sm smoothly it it looks very well now i'm going to make it a little bit more interesting by adding more sprites and let's see it as you can see the three sprites moves in in the same exactly the same way i don't like i, I don't like it that way i w want to introduce some variation so we are going to initialize the angle variable with a random number 
Allegro Maker allows you to do this with this instruction random range and as the name su suggests you have to enter two values I think that be okay and uh, let's see how it looks now uh, well doesn't look very different let's see now ah uh, yeah now I like it more yes every time I run I, I run the game it will look different because as I show show we are in initialization the variable with random numbers and that's it as you can see we implemented this circular movement with with only two lines in the create event and three lines in the step event this is really straightforward and very easy of course there are other ways to do the same thing you here game maker affairs allows you to use this graphical integrated uh, e events but I prefer to, to to stay away from them I, I prefer to implement it by code because I think it's easier and it, it works better okay hope you like it and um, I'll be all uploading new videos new game maker video tutorials soon see you